You know, everyone, they know that Nissan Leaf batteries are pretty rubbish. They're considered the worst batteries you can get in pretty much any electric car. <clears throat> Battery degradation isn't great and they don't last as long. In fact, they don't last anywhere near as long as some of the batteries, well, as most batteries in other Powered by Nissan Leaf batteries that have been used in cars. I mean, we're talking about cars that are no longer essentially they've, they've driven so far the car people don't want the cars anymore, or they've been crashed, or they're just really old. And Nissan have gone, you know what, Rome Airport, take all these batteries. Some of them might have had a cell that was damaged or something like that, and use them to power your airport. It's working. Hello, my friends, welcome to the channel. I'm Sam. The story I thought, oh, is this even real? But actually it is. This initiative is showing there is a solution for end of life batteries, and that is not to get rid of them, not, not even to recycle them in most cases. It's actually to use them for BESS, B-E-S-S, -S, which is a battery energy storage system. So this project is pretty big. Nissan is using, or I should say the airport in Rome is using 84 second life Nissan Leaf batteries. They've been reconditioned, and or some of them have anyway. And the system in total is 2.1 megawatt hours of batteries. Imagine the future when most things are powered by second life EV batteries. That's what's gonna happen. What happens to an internal combustion car at the end of its life? It gets scrapped, goes to the trash heap, and then those vehicles just sit there for a, for a long time or they try to recycle some bits of them. Th they're pretty useless, right? You might try and use them for old parts and things. With an EV, it's completely different. It's going to be, there's going to be millions, millions of people, probably hundreds of millions of people powering their cities, their towns, their homes with second life EV batteries. The environmental goal of Rome's airport is to achieve net zero emissions by 2030. And this is well, how they're doing it. This, this battery energy storage system is, well, it's linked to a big solar farm. That solar farm, not far away, there is 55,000 solar panels. And those 55,000 solar panels will generate 31 gigawatt hours of renewable electricity every year. So what do we know about these batteries? Well, they are reused batteries from not only Gen 4 EVs, Nissan Leafs, with the 40 kilowatt hour battery, also Generation 3 Nissan Leafs with 30 kilowatt hour batteries. And they're sourced from high mileage vehicles, vehicles that have done a few hundred thousand miles at least, and also warranty returns. So sometimes there might be a cell that has an issue, and Nissan and Tesla and other companies, when that happens, they basically just fix that cell. That's actually quite common. You can now buy reconditioned batteries from most car manufacturers. So when people say, your battery's not gonna last very long, it's actually a load of nonsense because you can fix most batteries, actually, you wouldn't, you'd never get rid of them. Very rarely, you just fix the battery cell that might have a fault in it. These batteries apparently have been carefully selected or carefully requalified, and they've got to meet, meet strict safety and performance standards. Battery lifespan, how long will they last? This is interesting. Apparently, they believe that they'll last for more than seven years. So the truth is they don't know how long they're gonna last for. They're saying at least seven years with being used every single day at the airport. So when you go and, I don't know, use the bathroom, see the lights powered on, use the escalators at Rome's airport, you can see what's powering it, the sun and batteries from Second Life EVs or Second Life batteries from EVs. What do we know about this? Well, this Pioneer Initiative was co-funded by EU Innovation Funds and it's a critical component of Aeroporti di Roma's strategy to achieve net zero emissions by 2030. And the landmark project demonstrates 
you can repurpose EVs for anything, really. People will be doing this now, like I said, for hundreds and hundreds of years. Nissan supplied 84 reconditioned batteries. And in total, the airport has a capacity of 10 megawatt hours of electricity because of these batteries and the solar. This system is really, really cool because you're getting 31 gigawatt hours of solar powering those 10 megawatt hour capacity batteries. And, and essentially what this is doing is it's giving clean power to the entire airport. Sufain El Khomri, Nissan Energy Director for the companies Africa, Middle East, India, Europe, and Oceania region said this, the project is not only demonstrating the long-term viability of repurposed batteries in, in demanding environments, but it underscores Nissan's commitment to technical integration of second life batteries into the ESS. Guys, if you can do this with Nissan Leaf batteries, we know that batteries in other cars, lithium ion phosphate batteries with proper battery management systems, they're gonna last triple, literally three times as long. We already know that. Imagine how good these batteries will be from when you have other cars that have car crashes, very, very common, right? You see electric cars have an accident, all kinds of cars have accidents, and then you see them sell they often get ridden off. You see them sell for, say, between five to $10,000, and you're getting 60, 70, 80 kilowatt hour battery pack for a tiny fraction of what it would cost to buy those batteries new. Now, Nissan is saying that this initiative, they've wanted to be part of it because it aligns with Nissan's broader strategy of transforming potential waste into valuable energy assets. Now, I'd strongly disagree with Nissan here. I don't think they're telling the truth. It's not waste. You'd have to be mental and brain dead to just throw away batteries because they're just worth too much money. Black mass, which is just chopped up batteries, is worth about eight thousand US dollars a ton. So if each battery weighs say four hundred kilograms, you're looking at probably three to four thousand US dollars for the battery just to be recycled. I mean, if you have eighty four of those, that's a lot of money just for recycling them. And obviously, the truth is Nissan knows that they're not getting thrown out, but it kind of feeds to that narrative where people say oh, when EV, when EVs are at the end of their life, right, they're just going to get, the batteries just get thrown into the waste and it's a toxic landfill thing. That's completely not true. Uh, so let's be honest. The truth is this. In 2050, by then, there will be, there'll be millions and millions of electric cars that will have hit the end of their usable life, right? They will have done 500,000 plus kilometers, you know, 300,000 plus miles, you wear the car out, it's 20 years old, people don't, you don't want it anymore, and people don't really like driving 20-year-old cars. There'll be some of those still on the road, but many of them will be crashed, many of them will just be sitting in, sitting in whatever, and those batteries in those cars will be used. They'll be, they'll be all over the planet, Brazil, Africa, Pakistan, India, China. People will be using old electric cars to power their homes. You can do it now, and more and more people will be doing this into the future. In fact, it's one of the best things about an EV.